Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 17. Chalka. This is used to say, go safely in Korean. Again, the term chalga is used to say, go well. But this is considered informal and casual way of saying goodbye, please go well. How do we write chalga in Hangul? Chal is just a combination of chiat, a, and real character. While ga is just the combination of the giok and a character. Combine these two syllables so you could write chaga in Hangul. If you will compare chaga to anyonghi ga seo, they are both used to say goodbye when you are staying and the other people are leaving. But anyonghi ga seo is formal while chaga is informal. And with that, you've just learned chaga. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 7 to 16. Word number 17 is chalga. This is used to say kowel in an informal manner. Word number 16 is to say, oh, this is used to say please or please give me. Word number 15 is mekchu. This is the Korean term for beer. Word number 14 is don. This is the Korean term for money. Word number 13 is sagwa. This is the Korean term for apple. Word number 12 is 반갑습니다. This is a shortened way of saying nice to meet you. Word number 11 is 여보세요, which means hello, and this is used to answer the phone. Word number 10 is 안녕. This is a short informal term for hello or goodbye. Word number 9 is komobo. This is an informal way of saying thank you. Word number 8 is anyonghi gaseyo. This is used to say goodbye in a formal manner when you are leaving first and the other people are staying. Word number 7 is anyonghi gaseyo. This is used to say goodbye when you are staying and the other people are leaving first. Congrats! Up next, on Day Hangul. We're going to discuss about Chaliso. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.